What's going on? It's your big man, Mel with Mel's Block, coming to you today with another big Bible word. Today, the word that I want to give you is atonement. The reason I want to talk to you about atonement is because it's so closely related to the word I gave you yesterday, reconciliation. So let's break it down. Atonement is the reparation of an offense or an injury. Let me let me give you an example of how they did it in the Old Testament. In the Old Testament, God put together this elaborate system of sacrifices that the Israelites had to do to atone for their sins. So they would have to sacrifice sheep, they'd have to sacrifice goats, they'd have to sacrifice all these different animals because without the shedding of blood, there is no atonement for sin. And so they had to go through this, again, elaborate sacrifices in order to appease God for the sins that they were committing. And once the blood was shed, they were reconciled back to God. Now, that didn't work, meaning it wasn't an eternal fix or it wasn't a full-time solution. We have an eternal fix and a full-time solution through the finished work of Jesus Christ. He is our atoning sacrifice. Through the finished work of Jesus Christ on the cross, he suffered the penalty for our sins. He was beaten, he was reproached, he was persecuted, he was stricken and ultimately hung on a cross and was accursed for mankind. He took our sins upon himself and became our atoning sacrifice to God. And through that work of Jesus Christ, we've been reconciled to the Father. Praise God for the atoning work of Jesus Christ. Y'all be blessed until next time.